Well, Thursday has just about come to an end here. And uh, here we go again. It's about 20 till 8. It's a little later than what it is, than what it started a couple of the other ones. But uh, got a cloud bank coming in. According to the forecast, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. However, I'm not seeing any sun dogs in the sky. That was always my dad's, one of my dad's prognostications was if he saw a sun dog, he knew that there would be raining within about 12 hours. So, but uh, we don't have any of those tonight. And the sun begins to get low in the sky. These have been some pretty awesome sunsets. However, they're nowhere close to being anywhere near as vibrant as what they are a lot of evenings. Last night, there was a lot of red. Tonight, we're still dealing with more gold flip up here there you go that second opening up there you're beginning to see some silver on the bottom of those clouds but just little by little the day ebbs away and as i sit here in my chair oh i'm about 40 yards off of the edge of the road here Looking out past this blue spruce tree, out the throat of my driveway, or out the mouth of my driveway, I'm back in the throat. But I'm looking at that same white building on the hillside across the valley there. And the sun is directly above that from this perspective. I'm wondering, we've got two months before the longest day of the year. I'm wondering just how much further north the sun will get here in this as the Earth uh, continues on its orbit around the sun. I'd never sat to really pay any attention to that, to give it any thought. One thing about it, the traffic never stops. Well, Last night, we had a window at the bottom of the cloud bank. I don't see any anything like that today. Lots of color over there. But then again, that's the way God does stuff. I think we've probably all been familiar with the old poem, Footprints in the Sand. And the narrator the narrator of the prom seeing two sets of footprints for most of what seems to be his life's journey but every once in a while there was only one and the question being asked where were you then God and God's answer is I was carrying you and I'm not a poet. Whoever the poet was, I didn't do them justice in this. And this car isn't helping at all. But I think we all sometimes feel like, where's God in all of this? And when you see a sun sunset get truncated, sometimes you think, oh boy, this is not good news. And so you look around and you think, eh, what's going to come tomorrow? The answer is, we don't know. But God's still faithful. Just as that sun is setting tonight, so too will it rise tomorrow. 
And if we're fortunate enough to see that sunrise, we'll have another day of opportunity, another day of being able to change at least our portion of the world. And in that regard, not only the opportunities, but also the responsibilities. God is good. God really is good. One of the things the word tells us is that he sends the rain on the just and the unjust. In other words, just because we're his followers doesn't mean that everything's going to be easy. That everything's just going to fall into place. Sometimes we get the blessings. Sometimes we don't. There's no cars coming, folks. I'm going to cross the road. I don't usually do this. But I'm looking out here across the lights, catching this just right to where you can kind of see the undulation across this valley. Now, this isn't the big the, the big valley. The big valley is beyond where the steel shed over there is. But just this little run here down to the creek has some beautiful, beautiful topography. Basically, that's a cattle pasture out across there. This one right here next to me is, you see every once in a while on these, you hear the cows mooing and doing their thing. Here's a blackbird stalking to us. Yeah. Can you see him right there on that second bale? He's kind of talking to you. My guess is that I'm not that far from a nest. The beauty of God's creation, even the beauty of a closing day. Hallelujah. We're his, and we can rest in that.